What is it? What is AR, augmented reality? It's a technology that combines the virtual world and real world by overlaying digital interactive content on the real world. I'll show you demonstrations on and off. Uh, that's why we, all this uh, delay happened. Uh, sorry for that. And so please sit back and enjoy. And the key thing is you have to keep looking at the big screen right here, right? So you will see the real world and the virtual world on the big screen. So keep looking at the big screen, all right? All right. Wow, that was close. Almost got me. Anyways, before I start, I'd like to thank the team of Tetex Tirupati, who've been wonderful. The holy city of Tirupati, it's beautiful out here. The, the magical and divine power is everywhere, all around me. I see it everywhere, growing everywhere. It's all due to the blessings of uh, Lord Vengadeshwara. And before him, I pray. Yadamure Yavarum Khelir. World is my home, and we are a global citizen. I have traveled across many countries, worked across many countries. But uh, US, that's a country uh, I worked. It has taught me many good things, uh, work ethics, uh, good passion for human being. India, uh, I moved back to India as fast as I could. It's been a great uh, story so far in India with a new company started. Uh, why do I think uh, about India? There are many things I love India. The first is the culture, the youth, and among culture is the most diverse in the culture. Then comes your IT. IT is, is, is the grand identity of Intel. And who can forget the magical mystical of, of Bollywood that has captured the imagination of the world. Now, one more thing has captured my uh, imagination now that I'm in India. It's uh, the power of smartphones, the amount of uh, adoption that phones have come to in India. Hey, Dino, what are you doing here? Come on, go away. Anyways, so. That's 830 million phones out in India. And with 20% market share in smartphones. That's huge. I strongly believe that the Indian consumers are ready to consume content. So. Oh. Come on, guys. Go away. I have to talk about smartphones. Anyways. So the smartphones, I think with the advent of 4G, smartphones and the content, it's going to be really cool. I think India is poised to be the next big power in terms of smartphones. Oh, come on. Oh. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Shut up. Go away. What can I say, guys? Now, what I'm going to do, now that I've showed you some examples, these are some examples of augmented reality. Now that I showed what it could do, the possibilities of AR, I want to explain the concept a bit. A few examples. All right, so what we have is a Tropicana juice. So just think how this Tropicana juice could be made interactive uh, by the brand managers. So I'm going to point uh, the Tropicana phone here. I 
as you see, it's a 3D dimensional and it tracks real time. And it's a small game that uh, the brands can engage with the consumers, especially the young minds. So the extra few uh, seconds spent to engage with the Tropicana to bring uh, brand communication for Tropicana. And the key thing is it uses an existing uh, package. So that thing, there's no marker, there's no code. It's business as usual. It recognizes the existing uh, Tropicana and converts an existing packaging into a digital interactive content. You could have a recipe, uh, communicated, could have coupons. So it's a new medium. If you really look at it, right, the brands communicate uh, on one extreme on prints. Prints could be uh, newspaper, magazines, uh, posters, uh, could be packaging. These are all prints. So they spend small amount, but they, the volume is very huge. So huge money getting spent on static uh, print media. On the other extreme, they spend a lot of money on digital medium, which is television, uh, internet. Uh, it's powerful because it's digital interactive. What augmented reality does is it uses two concepts, right? The mobile smartphone is now at the end of young uh, community like you all. So it uses that and it converts your existing static content. There's no change, there's no QR code. It converts the existing static content into interactive digital content. That, that, that's, a, that's a good way of communicating with your consumers that you want to communicate. So that's the idea behind it. And I want to show you one ex more example. Um, so as, uh, assume this is a, a typical page on you know, the magazine where it does is trying to communicate a few things. Now question is how this static page with no code whatsoever can be made interactive for Adidas to consume with, engage with the brands. Here you go. figure out uh, how to buy it, there's e-commerce built inside, right? Very good. So that's one example. And if you look at it, all the content processing is happening on the device itself. And this is a very interesting, uh, few guys would have seen it. There's a company called MyCopy. They sell notebooks uh, primarily for, uh, to colleges across Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Uh, it's called MyCopy. They come in for a different uh, 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 cover page, different design, and they have coupons inside. So we have worked with MyCopy very closely, uh, and we have made their uh, cover page uh, interactive, digitally interactive. So I want to show you a demonstration of what's uh, been done in the last a few months. So here you go. This is a page. And if you look at it, that is an Einstein. Comes up live on the book. Right? Here you go. And it says tap anywhere. Show me the money! No! 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 You look at it. There he is, Mr. Einstein, on our floor, and is is walking. There he is walking. Day, day, day. Ni yar ni yana kiteriye. Na yar nu wana kiteriye. Namma rendi beer yar engarthi nu ur ke teriye. Look at him. Look at him. What it does is, uh, we deliver very interesting dialogues every week to the student community across colleges, no, across no, the no, And no. when you share this picture, as, as you see, can you uh, take a picture? Yes, so you can capture 
at any point of time. Once you capture and post on your Facebook, the MyCopy has teamed up with brands to deliver coupons. So Pajero is uh, SOV uh, out of uh, Chennai. And uh, one more example of how a existing page on a magazine that communicates uh, Pajero's ability uh, to the consumers could be uh, taking advantage using uh, augmented reality. Uh, once again, is using Engage platform. Here you go. And I'm going to keep it on the floor. It could be kept on anywhere. Now, if you look at it, Mukul um, is going to show a demonstration. Out there, if you look at it, uh, that is a low play video that could play from here. That is a register win to get coupons, and that is general communication. So, these are the things brands typically uh, do to engage with consumers. And we're using, we're trying to uh, take the advantage of smartphones and the software to make sure that it could be made interactive. Uh, one more example uh, smartphone, uh, Samsung. Now, you see how this could be made interactive. So, here we go. experience does is it gives you an idea of various components that goes into the Samsung. be used for a service professional. Right. Uh, on a different uh, lighter note, um, let's, uh, you know, India is a country of Bollywood. That's pretty much, I think, some 5,000 movies that gets launched on a monthly basis and people are exploring uh, various methods to uh, monetize uh, the pre-launch thing. One of the ways to uh, get more money from the audio launches. So what we're trying to sh do here is use uh, existing static print to uh, make people to download songs before the movies uh, launched. So especially the audio downloads. And nowadays, uh, audio is sold more online than through CDs. So Mukund is going to show you a demonstration how uh, the Engage platform could be used in the movie industry to uh, push the audio uh, downloads. Here you go. few demonstrations. Uh, I'll take exactly five more minutes, then I'll be done. Uh, one key application, sorry guys, uh, three more minutes. So one quick demonstration in architecture, I think that's the last uh, demonstration here. Yes. Yeah, I can hold it. A physical building coming up live, wherever you keep the sheet, could be on your uh, dining room, could be on your hall. And the best part is it's 3D, you could look closer in every angle. So your existing uh, imagery that's on your print media could be made digitally interactive. You can go look at it. And if you want to look at the interior as a walkthrough, touch it, you can go in and look at the interior in, in, in any way you want. So suddenly your static content that's on newspaper the uh, real estate builders have opportunity to engage with the consumers in an interactive way. Right, here you go. Right? That's the power of smartphones, that's the power of technology.
And the key thing is it was developed in India for Indians. I had the uh, chance to do it outside India. I had the uh, chance to sell it outside India, but uh, very consciously it was done here by the Indians for India. So I'm going to put the product out in India for now. So let's see what happens later on. So, uh, uh, I know uh, enough of technology, enough of AR. Um, I'm standing here in front of a student community, right? Uh, I have a decent number of experience. I've worked in the industry for uh, 20 years, I would say, 20 years plus. And uh, you know, I picked up a few things here and there as I worked. So I would like to share a few thoughts, a few thoughts how to be successful uh, in this industry uh, to you all as a, as a final remarks. Um, the first foremost thing that you have to uh, do is think is you have to believe in yourself. Very, very important. Uh, I know who I am. I know what I believe. But that's all I need to know. From there, I do what I have to do. That's the most important uh, mindset you need to have. Very important. And one other thing I have uh, noticed is, I know India is in a mode to acquire wealth uh, in the last five years. So there's a lot of, you know, raise, a lot of, uh, you know, pulling down and cat, a dog race happening, rat race, whatever race you call it. But you know, guys should remember there is no shortcut to success. Talent is one thing, skill is one thing. Definitely, I wouldn't call myself talented. I don't think I was born with a talent. What has differentiated me is uh, in a ridiculous uh, amount of work ethics. So you have to work, work, work. When somebody is sleeping, you have to work. When somebody is you know, just having a good time, you have to work. That is, that is something that, you, that will give the skill set that you need to have. So that definitely is important. Um, then other key thing is don't look at, uh, you know, go and build a big castle or whatever. Focus on small things, lay one brick at a time. And when you do that, you have to make sure you do lay the brick precisely the best way possible, right? That's very important. Uh, other thing is focus. You have to focus and focus and focus, right? You don't need to have a, a plan B. Uh, plan B distracts you from plan A, right? So just Get in your head that, hey, I'm going to uh, succeed. I am going to focus. I'm going to get it done. Uh, the other thing is you need to have the desperation uh, to succeed, right? The way you feel desperate to breathe when inside of water, the same desperation you need to have to succeed. That's very, very important. So uh, to summarize it, right? To, to summarize it, uh, here you go, right? So first is uh, you have to believe in yourself. Two, that's going to be a shortcut to success. Uh, three, uh, four, focus, focus, five, be desperate to succeed, six, uh, make a positive success. So all this are very, very, very important. They are very interlinked. So please make a positive difference by making uh, somebody's life uh, better, you make your life better. That's very, very important. And being a student community, as you're stepping to the real world, you have to do it, right? So thank you very much for your time, appreciate it.